Hey, good people, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Valentine's Day. Um, this is kind of crazy, the whole um, Kansas City shooting. Um, some At some point... This stuff has just got to end, man. It's just getting to be too crazy. It doesn't matter where you go anymore. You're not, you know, you, you always have to be looking over your shoulder and wondering, you know, what if? Is this this going to be one of these events? Um, I was watching one of the interviews where one of the people in there was involved in a, you know, there was a shooting across the street that was a mass shooting from them eight years ago or someplace or something like that. So, I hope uh, there's five people in critical condition. I hope that they, you know, recover and so on, and that they definitely get and punish the people that did this. And, you know, I um, I joke around here a lot on YouTube and things, and sometimes people take it more serious than it is. But, guys, it's just YouTube, okay? We're talking about a sport, just because I love the Cowboys and you might love the 49ers or the Eagles or the Commanders or Giants or whatever team it is, doesn't mean you need to kill me, okay? And vice versa. So let's try and take it down a notch out there and uh, try and love each other a little bit more than hate each other. So today we heard from Mike Zimmer. We finally got all this stuff together. And I am going to say, uh, here's going to be my nickname. And it's probably because I need glasses. But when I was sitting there watching the live stream of the press conference, looking at Mike Zimmer, the guy who was the second Terminator that was coming after Arnold Schwarzenegger, the, the molten guy, looking at him now, not then, not then, okay, he was a young man then, but looking at him now, he reminded me a lot of Mike Zimmer. So I'm thinking that the perfect nickname for Mike Zimmer should be the Terminator. The Terminator should be his nickname. So that's what I'm thinking. Now, for me, listening to this whole thing, it sounded like for him, and he's probably well to do, I'm sure, in life, having been a head coach and coach for all those years, that he's probably got a good pension and got plenty of money in the bank. That it's not that he needs a job to pay his mortgage. When he said that he is here to help the team go further, to get a Super Bowl, that to me said, okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I feel a lot better about the hire there. And the thing I like more than anything else, um, after we found out that Sharif Floyd, the commanders, got him, um, Joe Witt, another guy I thought very highly of, they got him as well. And knowing that our defensive line coach, uh, Aiden Durd, is gone to Seattle, you know, we know we've lost quite a few of our coaches here. Um, so I've been wondering, will Mike Zimmer – be bringing in a whole bunch of other guys and getting rid of the pieces we had left. And one of those pieces to me that's been instrumental in the development of our cornerbacks is Al Harris. And Al Harris will be returning to the Cowboys. They confirmed that today at the press conference. And it made me feel really good to know that he's back because I think he is definitely a, a player's favorite. But make no mistake about it. The players have been put on notice that you're going to get yelled at. You're going to get foots and asses. And you are going to be critiqued. Camp Cupcake, I, I don't know if it's still going to be Camp Cupcake, but I can tell you on the defensive side of the ball that it definitely will be. Now, what I saw there, and this is my own personal take on the press conference, was with Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy looked surprisingly really, really relaxed. He actually looked like he was in great spirits. He looked, dare I say, happy. So in his mind, you know, we're talking about a guy who has been kind of put on notice. Everybody's got him on his hot seat and he's not getting an extension and stuff. Um, 
right now, but that's the Jerry Jones thing. Jerry Jones likes to keep people on the hot seat. He likes to keep people on the hot seat. And so that's where you look at it and say, yeah, that's a Jerry Jones thing. If they play well and do well, he'll get another contract or not. But it doesn't look like at this moment that um, Mike McCarthy is looking over his shoulder thinking that he is going to be um, taking his job. Now, that's not to say that he won't, but it doesn't seem like, at least at the moment, that there's animosity, that there's a relationship between them, there's a mutual respect from their times in um, uh, when he was in Minnesota and he was in Green Bay. Um, it's kind of crazy that the two of them will be coaching here with the Cowboys. But having the ties of the Dallas Cowboys Super Bowl years, I think is actually really, really important because he can speak about those great players, the Darren Woodsons and things. Um, and so you hope that this is going to be good. The thing that's interesting was they asked him about, you know, going all in, and he's like, right now I'm worried about getting the coaching staff together. Um, but you can kind of hear him say that, you know, we've got some good players here um, that, you know, but he talked about talent and commitment and getting the most out of the players, which is something that you can say we have been lacking. But I think he recognizes that he needs some linebackers. He needs some linebackers. You know, if there's anything that um, if there's anything that you can put your finger on that has been said over and over again, not just by me and law and everybody else, is beat down in our heads is the lack of linebackers and how atrocious it was for the Cowboys to do what they did, which was not worry about having linebackers. We don't need any linebackers. Uh, we're okay. That was a major miscalculation that I can guarantee you. One thing you can say about um, Mike Zimmer is he loves linebackers and he loves safety play, and that will be definitely important. The big question will be is how well will he be able to work with Will McClay and will he be able to get the pieces that he wants because he'll probably be trying to do more 4-3 than 3-4 but you don't have the personnel, per se, to do a straight 4-3. But he recognizes we have a lot of great players that are there. We need to supplement them and get the most out of them. I'm excited as can be. Now, one take, and shout out to my buddy um, who kind of brought this kind of angle to us. When Jerry Jones said we were going all in, and I hadn't thought about this until I heard it from him, that... In their mind, evidently, they may have had discussions with Dan Quinn where Dan Quinn's saying, hey, I need linebackers. I need more you know, defensive line help. We need to go all in. We need to do more than what we're doing if we're going to win at all. I don't know that the discussion has happened, but it sounds about right because immediately you know, we heard that, uh, Jerry Jones say, you know, we're, 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 we're not going to worry about the cap. We're going to go all in that that may have been a message to Dan Quinn to try and entice him to come back to say, we're going all in. And it will remain to be seen if the Cowboys are actually going all in. I don't know. I hope that they're going to go, you know, go in, maybe with a little bit of curves that we're not going to just say we're going to be completely one and done. But really and truly, look at this team and the shortcomings that we have and try and fill them. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, I appreciate you guys. Peace out.